Hey everyone, welcome to The Album Method and day 12 of our 30 day movement challenge. So today we're going to be focusing on one of the more complex postures in the yoga practice, Eagle Pose or Garudasana. Because Eagle Pose is a little bit more complex, I'm gonna be taking you through a series of variations so you can explore this posture and see what works for your body. Rather than trying to perfect this pose, I invite you and encourage you to approach today's practice with a little bit more curiosity, playfulness, and just have some fun with it. Today, you're just going to need your body and your mat. When you're ready, let's get started. All right, today's class, we're going to start on our back. So go ahead and lay down and start by pulling your knees into your chest and just close the eyes. And as always, just take a moment to take a breath and to get connected to your body, this space. Just letting go of everything else for the next 20 minutes or so. Take your left leg down to the mat. Just pull that right knee in nice and tight. Feeling that compression through the right hip. Press through your left heel. And then just switch it out. Pull that left knee in. And extend your right foot. Once again, just noticing how you feel. Kind of taking a quick scan of the body. Good. Bring that right knee in. And just take a gentle twist over to the left. Cactus that right arm. And just pause here. Take a couple breaths into that right side. And coming back to your center. And just switch that out, pull that left knee in, take a breath. And just cross over to the right as you cactus that left arm. Feel your breath move into the left side body. Good, coming back to your center. Pull both knees in. Start by wrapping your right leg, just crossing that right leg up and over your left. So this is variation one. Some might not have the ankle flexion to get that double wrap, that's okay. Just keep the feet flexed and we're really working on squeezing the thighs together. If you can wrap that foot around, that's great. Just a different variation, but if not, no big deal. So we're gonna bring that left ball of the foot to the mat, and I'm gonna start to drop my knees over to the left, and just being mindful of what you feel here. Just feel this gentle twist. Adding some detail, and just exploring how it feels in the body, good. Inhale, coming back to your center, and switch, so just crossing that left leg over the right. Start by squeezing the legs together first. And again, if your feet aren't crossed, it's okay. You just wanna keep them active. If you've got that double wrap, great. And then go ahead and release the ball of the right foot as you drop the knees to the right. Keep the arms cactused. And again, just notice what you feel. Keep the belly drawing in to protect your low back and protect this side of the body. Good, coming back to center. Switch it out once again and we'll add the arm. So wrapping that right leg up and over, take your right arm and wrap it underneath. So again, the tops of the hands can be touching. You can also give yourself a hug if you have super tight shoulders here, but you want your left arm on top of your right wherever you are. And if you can double wrap that wrist, that's great. Start by pressing your low back into the mat. Now we're gonna point the toes. So pointing those left toes. Start to bring the left toes to touch the mat as you reach the arms overhead, stretching through those triceps. And then we're gonna crunch everything in, touching elbow to the knee, keeping the back flat to the mat. We're not gonna come down all the way, but we're gonna extend. Rather than extending up and down, we're gonna extend forward and back, keeping that core turned on, and then pull elbows to knee. Good, start to do that on your own breath. Not moving too flat, fast or slow, but controlling the movement. So reaching those fingertips back, reaching those toes forward. Two more on this side, feel that crunch, feel that compression, and then hold here with the elbows in towards the knees. Good, from here, unwind everything. Take a full body stretch. And then we'll switch sides, pull those knees back in, and now we'll take the left leg up and over the right as the left arm comes underneath the right. And we'll do that same thing. So bringing those toes to touch, reach the fingertips overhead, and then crunch everything in, elbows touch the knees. Good, extending the toes out, extending the arms out, keeping that wrap, and then elbows crunch in, touching the knees. Good, two more times. Controlling the movement down and controlling the movement in. One more time. 
crunch everything in, hold, feel that core, and then unwind, pull those knees into the chest. From here, rock yourself up to a seat. Go ahead and cross the ankles and come onto your knees. You can also sit cross-legged for this, but you're gonna take your hips to your heels, give the knees a little stretch here. Bring the tops of the feet to the mat to feel a stretch through those. And then take your arms out to a T, so arms in line with the shoulders. And we're gonna start by rolling this left shoulder all the way down. So rolling that left shoulder so the shoulder internally rotates, the palm stays up. We're gonna find this right shoulder in external rotation, so flipping the palm up, so finding that equal and opposite. And now we're gonna switch, so rotating that left shoulder open, roll that right shoulder down. And we're really exaggerating this movement, so I'm leaning away from that right shoulder. Do that again. Alternate that rotation through the arms. Just warming up that shoulder girdle. And then come back to center with both palms facing up. Go ahead and wrap your right arm underneath your left, cross. So we'll start by giving ourselves a hug, just grabbing onto the shoulders with the hands. You can walk your fingertips onto the shoulder blades a little bit. Start to drop your elbows. Notice what you feel. And if you feel okay here, start to take those arms and cross the elbows. Same thing, start to draw the elbows down towards the chest, widening the space between the shoulder blades, feeling those shoulders move, and now start to reach the fingertips ever so slightly away from you. Good, coming back to center, and switch sides. Take those arms out to a T, flip your palms. Crossing right arm on top of the left and finding that double wrap. Just notice the difference. And again, this is a great place to be as well, crossing those arms. And this may have nothing to do with your flexibility. It could just be a matter of having shorter arms, and that's okay too. So go ahead and drop those elbows down to the chest. Start to reach the fingertips away from you. Feel a little weirdness through the shoulder girdle. And again, just taking it to where you feel some sensation maybe a little tension, but no pain. And then come back to your center and lift the elbows, lift the heart. Good, unwind that, shake it out, and come into your downward facing dog. So stretch out those legs. Sending your hips up and just taking a moment to pedal out the heels, maybe gaze underneath one shoulder and then the other. Whatever feels good here. Take a couple breaths and just stretch and explore this shape for just a moment. Checking in. And again, today we're not gonna take it too seriously. Keeping the body safe, we're just gonna have some fun with it. So go ahead and lift your heels, bend your knees, and just step towards the top of your space. Keep the knees nice and bent here. So we're coming into this chair pose variation. My feet are about hip width distance apart. Squatting down through the hips, pull the belly off the thighs and just bring your hands to heart here. Good, we're gonna hold this. So gripping the mat with your feet. Sit two inches deeper, getting those hamstrings involved, getting the legs involved, and then just stand up, bring the arms down by your sides. Good, do that two more times. Hips sink down and back, hands come to heart. And stand up, arms down. Good, again, squatting down. Adding on, you're gonna pull your left knee into your chest. Good, so we're gonna cross that left foot over the right, and again, squeeze the thighs here. So pressing the thighs into one another. Bring your hands to your hip creases, and just fold over the legs, nice and gentle. You can keep it at a halfway lift here if you're still feeling tight in your low back. I still feel a stretch through the backs of my hamstrings. You can also use a block, or just bring your hands to the ground or your shins. Good, squeeze the legs to bring you up with balance. Uncross and inhale, reach the arms up. We'll just switch sides, pulling that right knee and find your balance first. And then cross that right foot over the left, squeezing the thighs together just like we did on our back. And then hands will come to heart as you fold over the legs, let the hands release. Take a breath and just let it go. Let the shoulders relax, let the head relax down. And as you're ready, slowly, mindfully come back up. Uncross those feet and just notice the difference. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. And staying standing, just bring your hands to heart and pause. Good, take those arms out to a T. Now from here, same thing, we're gonna cross left arm underneath right. And again, 
this is a great place to stay or be right now if you still experience some tight shoulders. Otherwise, find that wrap through the arms. And from here, we're just going to lift the elbows just like we did on our knees. Lifting the gaze, feeling the shoulder blades come on to the back, squeezing those elbows together, and then start to come back to your center. Good. Now here, our gaze is going to stay forward. I'm just going to move my elbows to the right and then come back to center. Now I'm just going to move my elbows to the left, feeling the scapula movement again. Just notice what's happening. It doesn't have to look a certain way and come back to center. Good. Now start to draw those elbows down towards your heart, taking space between the shoulder blades and now just reach the fingertips away from you. Pull the belly in. Beautiful. Coming back up, uncross the arms and pause. Roll those shoulders out a couple times in one direction and then the other. And then arms will come back out to a T again and we'll switch. So left arm underneath right or right arm underneath left, whichever one you haven't done. Same thing. I'm going to move my elbows to the right as I gaze forward and then move my elbows to the left as I keep my gaze forward. Coming back to center, lift the elbows, lift the gaze. And exhale, bringing those elbows down towards the chest. Reach the fingertips away from you, feeling that space between the shoulder blades. And really exaggerating that movement. So hollowing out the chest, letting those shoulders move in. And then release. Inhale, reach those arms up. And this time we'll fold over the legs, coming into that forward fold. Uttanasana, take a halfway lift here. And just step back to your downward facing dog. Good. From here, reach your right leg up to the sky. Just point the toes and just bend the knee. Let that heel drop, allowing the hip to open a little. And then using your core, step your foot between your hands. Bring your back knee down. Interlace the hands on top of that right knee and just pause. So keeping the back toes tucked under, we're just going to activate this hip flexor. So I just want you to press through that heel, lift the back leg. Good. From there, release the knee. Control. Squeeze your left glute. Do that two more times. Press through the heel, lift the back leg, and then bring that knee down. Good. One more time. And now reach the arms up. Good. Exhale, release hands to the mat, framing that foot. Sweep your right leg high, bend the knee, let that hip roll open once more. And then come back to your downward facing dog. Just pause. Good. Same thing, left side. Reach that left leg up. Inhale. Bending that knee, letting that hip roll open. And then using your core to step through to that lunge, placing the foot between the hands. Again, back knee comes down. Hands interlace on top of that left knee just for stability. Back toes stay tucked under. So staying strong on this front foot, start to press through that back heel to lift the leg, lifting the knee. And then bring that knee down. Good. Two more times. Press through that heel, activating that hamstring, getting into that hip flexor, and then release. Good. One more time. Pressing through that heel, activate that leg, reach those arms up, pause, and then release hands to the mat, sweeping that left leg high, bend the knee, and open that hip. Beautiful. Release downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Step towards the top of your space once again. Good. Now from here, take a halfway lift. So finding your hands on the shins, feeling weight equal in the feet, find a nice neutral spine and let that bring you up to a standing position. Good. So I'm going to bring my feet a little bit closer together, just a couple inches in between the feet. Now we're going to find that chair pose. So I'm going to push my hips back. So same thing we did when we had the legs crossed. I'm going to put my hands on my hips and quite literally push my hip bones so that they go into my body. And I'm gonna bend my knees coming into this chair pose. So upper thighs, low belly reaching towards one another, and then using my back muscles to lift my heart. Good, arms come out to a T for balance. Start by shifting into that right foot. So shift into that right foot, take your left leg, squeezing that leg up and over. Now again, if that left foot doesn't have that double wrap, that's okay, you can use the toes to find your balance. But either way, you wanna find activity through both feet. Good, so sitting those hips back, my hips go back, weight is in that right heel, belly pulling in, and now right arm crosses underneath. Lifting the elbows, pull the shoulder blades away from each other, and pause. Keeping your eyes on something still, and again, if you wobble or fall, that's okay. There's a lot going on here, so feel that heat. 
It's normal to feel a little dizzy or lightheaded as you come out of this because we've been twisting the arms and the legs. So slowly release that and just bring your hands to heart. Take a breath in and let everything settle. Sending your breath down into the feet and finding your balance, finding your equilibrium, finding your center. Good, taking those arms out to a T, take that seat once again, set up for the other side. So keeping that left knee bent, right leg comes up and over. We want that hot thigh as high up as we can get it so that we can find space to find that double wrap eventually. Otherwise those right toes just hang out but we still want them active. Lifting my chest with my back muscles, now I'm gonna wrap left arm underneath right. And again, my left side's always trickier than the other, you guys know this. So I'm gonna find that little wobble and then I'm gonna set my eyes on something still. And again, just being playful with it, not taking it too seriously. Feel the space between the shoulder blades, feel the elbows pulling together as the thighs squeeze together, stay strong. And again, slowly release, reach those arms up and just bring hands to heart. Set your gaze, take a breath, let it settle, let it absorb. Good, one more time, each side. So taking those arms out to a T, sit those hips down. So weight goes into the heels, arms out. Left leg comes up and over. See if you've gained any space here. Pushing your butt towards the back of your space. Right arm comes underneath left. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Knees and hips come in line with each other. Good, the more you bend that right knee, the more you're gonna feel that right leg, but shift the weight into the hips. And now if you'd like to take this a little bit further and play around with it, start to take those elbows to the knees, coming into that low flying eagle. Good, start to reach the fingertips away from you as you maintain your balance, stay strong, stay with it. And then slowly, slowly, slowly release. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, send your breath into those heels. Again, it's normal to feel a little dizzy there. Let it settle, get your bearings and pause. Opening up some major joint systems there. So just be aware of what's happening. And again, balancing is hard. So if you lose your balance or you fall out of it, it's okay. We're just having some fun here. So find that seat once again, last time through. We're gonna take that right leg up and over, finding that eagle shape with the legs. Hips move down and back, arms come out for balance, and then left arm crosses underneath right, coming back to your variation. So my hips move back as my elbows move forward to create that rounded spine, bringing the elbows all the way towards the knees, coming into that tiny little ball, and just feeling it, again, just staying curious about what's happening and what the body can do. As you're ready, start to rise back up, unwind everything, inhale, reach those arms up, and exhale, bring those hands to heart. Good, so a lot going on. Let everything absorb for just a moment. So good, inhale, reach those arms up here. And exhale, just fold over the legs. Taking that halfway lift, step back to your downward facing dog. Just take a breath here. Good, notice the differences. Beautiful, and then come on down to your knees. And I want you to shift your hips onto the mat. And we're gonna take that right leg over the left, and we're gonna flex the feet. So eventually, the heels will come closer to the glutes, but if you're like me and you have tight outer hips, this is where I stay. Keeping both feet flexed to protect the knees, and then just bringing my fingertips down to the mat to just notice what I feel. Squeezing the legs into one another, and then we'll just switch, crossing that left leg over the right and working to get the knees down to the ground. You can always use a block or a pillow for this too. And again, if you have tight hips, I'm just going where I feel that tension and then I'm pausing and just noticing what's happening. Breathing into that space, sending your breath to those tense spots and just let everything kind of settle. Good, go ahead and uncross both legs and come onto your back. Good, extending that right leg up, release your left foot to the mat 
and then cross that right leg up and over, coming back to those eagle legs, cactus the arms. Those left toes touch the mat, and we're gonna drop the knees over to the left, scooting that bottom hip underneath you. So this is a bit of a deeper stretch, so just be mindful if this is too much on your low back, you can just keep the knees stacked. Good, coming back through center, just switch it out. Left leg crosses over right. Again, double wrap or single wrap, doesn't really matter. Bringing the feet to the ground. I like to scoot that bottom hip underneath me for the full benefit of the twist. Staying safe through the low back, keeping the hips stacked and letting those knees fall to the right. And that left shoulder doesn't have to touch the ground. We're just letting everything kind of soften and just noticing one side as opposed to the other. Good, coming back to your center as you're ready. Being mindful of unwinding those legs, pull both knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and just pause here. Notice that difference. And then from here, just extend the legs, extend the arms and just take up some space here for just a moment. Allow everything to just settle. Taking a couple deep breaths. And again, just noticing how you feel. I love working on these kinds of postures because it really does take your awareness and your attention right to what we're doing. And I don't know about you, but I didn't think about anything else for the last 20 minutes. And that's a good feeling to have. To reset. To create some space. And to take this energy with us. Go ahead and take a full body stretch. Point your toes, reach your arms overhead, pull your knees into your chest, rocking side to side, and then either rolling to one side or just simply rocking yourself up to a seat onto the knees or sitting cross-legged towards the top of your space. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. As always, sealing in our practice, sealing in this time in this space. Bow your chin to your chest, giving yourself that honor, that grace, that salute for showing up, for taking the time, for carving out the space and for approaching the practice with a little bit more playfulness. Bring the thumbs to your forehead. I invite you and encourage you to take this playfulness, this curiosity, and this freedom in the breath with you off your mat into your day, into your week, wherever you are. Take an inhale, lift the gaze, find that gratitude for whatever it is you're grateful for today. And together we bow in that gratitude to this practice, to this space. Namaste. As always, thank you so much. I hope you had fun with this practice. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.